Hey guys, what's up? So, I have to do an oil change here, and uh, in my previous videos, you see that I'm trying to get my uh, my Power Stroke six liter uh, smogged, and I feel like I'm having a slight stiction issue in the morning, very slightly, like a, a very slight misfire, and I don't know if that's the reason why I'm not passing smog. You know, I'm not getting an EGR inc or complete, you know, emissions readiness emissions readiness test. Um, sorry, I have a slight cold here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give this a shot. I mean, this was like 40 bucks. Got on Amazon, got my Motorcraft filter, and got some DLO uh, oil here, and it's CJ4. So I knew that I, the new spec is like CK4, but I'm not sure what the whole thing with that. Like Ford didn't approve it for any of their diesel trucks, the CK4 spec. So they came out with some other like their new spec or something. But uh, I'm sure this is an expensive bottle, 40 bucks, so it's like liquid gold almost, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put it in there and see if I can get that stiction maybe fixed. I might put a little ounce in the uh, in the power steering fluid just because I have bigger tires. And I was watching one of the uh, Power Stroke help Bill Hewitt's videos, and he said maybe put an ounce in that thing. Um, so uh, I'll try that, get it going. Hopefully the stiction goes, so I can pass smog. Um, what sucks, I do actually have one of those Ford, uh, fake, uh, clone, uh, VCMs coming in, you know, like, the uh, Ford IDS, which can show me, like, the injector, like, contribution test, I guess, so I can actually see how the injectors are actually working in real time, but I'm not going to have that until next week, so, um, but I want to get this in there now, because I want to get this car's past smog, so, so I'm not going to do, be able to do before and after, you know, with the IDS, but. Or at least be able to know if this thing fixes the stiction or not. So, this is a totally unbiased, you know, opinion if this stuff works or not. You know, I, I'm not selling it. I don't no affiliation with these freaking people. So, I just want my truck fixed. So, all right, guys, I put it in there. So, um, all right, let's see if it works. Okay, guys, on my last oil change, I put one of those little Mishimoto uh, magnetic drain plugs in there. It looks like I picked up a little bit of something. I mean, obviously, it's not like going to be like a transmission because a transmission, you're, you know, you're, you have friction and steel, so you're generating lots of like little metal particles. But very slightly, it looks like. I mean, I'll look at this. Where it off there? It doesn't. It definitely is a metalish, you know. Still, may work a little bit. Picked up something. Better than nothing. Okay guys, so got it running here. So let this run for a week, come back, let you know if my section is uh, fixed. I know it's not that thick, I mean I have actually I uh, I get forty eight volts all the time. Forty eight point five to forty eight volts, so I'm assuming it's either a bad injector or a stiction, so we will see. We'll come back in about a week, give you an update. Okay guys, um, I've actually been uh, just a quick update on the uh, ARS. 9100 or Artoil. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but this whole time that I've actually been messing with this, trying to get my car smog, it's never, I never had a misfire complete. It, it was always incomplete like that, the EGR system. So that's why actually why I decided to look at the injector because I wasn't sure if the injector problem was causing Hi. me not Hi. to be able to complete an EGR system cycle. You know, I'm not getting any sort of air codes, so that's what I'm trying to figure out. What's up? But I mean, I've only ridden this thing uh, maybe like four or five miles, and I can already tell the like, engine's running smoother. And this never happened before. It's four, I mean, that's like in four or five miles. So, and I, I've been looking at this for a couple weeks now. So, I mean, it could be a coincidence that it's changed the oil, but the oil that I had in there wasn't wasn't very old. So, I mean, I've always used synthetic oil too. So, that I don't know if that's that never had that before. So. Uh, Last thing I have to do now is get that thing to pass, and I got a VCM IDS coming in, clone, fake one, but we'll see what happens.